Hey everybody, I'm Shaggy. This is my big dog Dexter. Today we're going to unbox, assemble, and talk a little bit about our new bed from Karanda. On the opposite side of our invoice, I did find assembly instructions. The tool list for the hardware packet, it looks like Karanda, Karanda is recommending a Phillips head screwdriver, a 7 16 wrench or an adjustable, and a flat surface to work on. They say a table is ideal. What do you say, buddy? Yeah. I have my Phillips screwdriver and my 7 16 ratchet. Step one, it says lay it on a flat surface, hem side up. Right here is the hem side for the aluminum frame beds. And there's already flexible plastic rods inserted in all four sides. Two short and two long frame rails. And as you guys saw, that's a nice, easy fit. A lot of people think 40 mil plastic means 40 millimeters of plastic. But as you can see, this piece here is not 40 millimeters. A mil is actually a measurement used in the plastics industry, and it stands for one ten thousandth of an inch. Vinyl top is actually 40 ten thousandths of one inch. Both frame rails on the end. If anybody has any questions about the thickness or what it looks like, it almost reminds me of my debit, some of my thinner debit or credit cards that I've had. And even though Dexter here, he's a big dog, I can't imagine he's going to do much damage to this top anytime soon. Hem side is still up. The next step is gonna be to position the corner brackets. When I put everything on, I'm just gonna do it hand tight because it's gonna need a little wiggle room to be adjusted. Seam is still facing up. Here we have the included hardware that came with the bed. The hem is still face up. I have all four corner pieces. Next step is gonna to be to flip it over and tighten down the nuts and bolts. The good people at Karanda did recommend to use a wrench. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna hold this in place and I'm gonna apply all the pressure and torque with just the screwdriver at the top. And same with this one. And that looks good and tight. These heads are recessed, so they actually fit flush. And we're gonna go ahead and repeat this three more times. And now we have all four corners tightened up. The next step is gonna be to put in the legs. Plastic dowel is there to grip the screw. Pre-drilled, thank you again, Karanda. I flipped it over upside down so everybody can see. We have a hole that's been drilled out on the bottom of the leg. It's gonna match up with this hole here. Slides in, no problem. The reason I got Dexter a Karanda bed is, during the daytime, Dexter's not allowed to lay in bed or meander around the bedroom unsupervised. Uh, since he's a Great Dane, what everybody calls a Velcro dog, he's usually by my side during the day anyway. So this gives him uh, another place to lay. We're gonna do this three more times, but the sooner I get this Karanda put together, the sooner I get my sofa back or at least enough of a corner for me to sit on. If anybody has a Karanda bed and likes it for their Great Dane, tell me a little about it in the description below. If you don't, let me know what are some of the other brands that you've tried that you've had a good experience with. And the bed is complete and assembled. Ugh. It's fairly firm. I'm 190, 195 after ice cream. And as you can see, there's not too much giver flex. One more part, the mattress pad. I'm not gonna make Dexter lay on a bare vinyl mat, which you can, there's nothing wrong with that, but I love him and I spoil him every chance that I get. So let me put the mattress pad on for him. This is the extra, extra large canvas bed pad. And this goes with our bed. That's 50 inches by 36 inches. Number four.
fully assembled, Dexter's first Karanda bed. See how he likes it. Give us a little test. Very nice. Plenty of room, plenty of size. Five years old, 130, 135 pound Great Dane. It looks like he fits on here perfectly.